Hey my lovely YouTubers, welcome back to my YouTube channel with me, Morgan Tracy J. In today's video, I'm actually showing you how to get disciplined in 2024, okay? You guys, it is 2024. We are pretty much almost through with the first month of 2024, and I'm really hoping that you are smashing some of your goals and you're keeping up that momentum and keeping up that faith. But today's video, actually, I want to show you how I'm being disciplined this year. And the one major thing I've been doing is waking up at 6 a.m., okay? And this is not the weekends, but like Monday through Friday. Friday, waking up at 6 a.m. and this is not easy I'm not gonna lie this has definitely been a challenge but now as I'm recording this I'm technically on week four of doing this and it's almost like my body is just getting up and so it's such a blessing so I want to show you what I do in the mornings now when I'm waking up at 6 a.m. okay the first thing I do in the morning is I grab my laptop and I walk on my treadmill for about the first 10 minutes sometimes it's five sometimes it's eight most times it's around 10 and I just kind of look at my day and I'm writing out anything that's kind of going on. Um, and that's kind of my warm up. And so I'm gonna start doing that. And it might get loud, so I may not be able to talk anymore. Got a good sermon on. One mile down, one mile to go. Two miles are done. So ready to start my day. Well, you guys, I finished my two miles for this morning and I cannot lie, you guys, it feels so good when I finish. I first started off walking and then I started doing about a mile, a jog, mile and a half. Now I'm up to two miles and I feel so good about that. But I will say the best thing about getting up at 6 a.m. is there's no excuse for me not to work out because I know I have the time. When used to, I would be like, oh, I'm moving, waking up too late, I don't have time. And I do have a treadmill in my home, which makes it super, super convenient, okay? Like beyond convenient. But it's really helping me get more disciplined with my health. It takes out a lot of the fog on going out running. Where am I going to run? Am I going to go to the gym? Am I going to drive? Like it does take out all that fog. So that helps me mentally just get up, grab my clothes, put on my shoes and get on the treadmill. It usually takes me about 30 minutes to be an equivalent to just a 30 minute workout. But for me, it's a 30 minute run um, and I really enjoy it. It makes me feel good. That's a way that I'm being super disciplined for them this year. I'm so thankful for the Lord for that because he really helped motivate me and push me to do that because I was being very lazy before this. Okay. And so if you're someone who's like lazy, and you're just like, I can't get motivated. I would encourage you pray about, seek the Lord on it, but also try out, try to join my fast. I have a free fast going on that I do every year. It's called the Esther fast. But I always notice when I fast and then take on something, it's like less of a struggle. It's like walls are broke down. My flesh, myself is not in the way. And so I want to encourage you, click the link in the description box if you want to join me and so many other ladies on our corporate fast this year. Oh, y'all. Another two miles done. It makes me feel so good. So let me go get my day going and then I'll come back and talk to you about a little bit more discipline. Okay, you guys, another way that I am being disciplined this year is I'm taking time making sure at my office to have prayer more. I usually do it at home, but I've been noticing like, I actually like doing it in the office. It's a vibe, I like it. I don't have to worry about my dog, I don't have to worry about other things. I don't gotta worry about all that. I can literally just focus on, oh, I'm here at the office, let me get some time to study, let me get some time to pray without distraction, and I love that. Also, another thing I'm working on this year to be more disciplined in is my fashion, okay? I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I can not really want to dress up and just show up as my best self. I lost a lot of motivation to dress up, especially with Vlogmas, like I was really fighting to still show up as my best self, and I, it was a big struggle. And so I said this year, I'm definitely gonna be more disciplined on just my clothes and how I feel about myself. And also working out is definitely helping me feel better. So one big thing every day before I go to work, I want to like make sure that I'm wearing clothes that feels like the best version of Morgan. The version of Morgan that God continues to show me, I wanna wear clothes that embody that. And so sometimes I gotta get creative, honestly, and pull different pieces out and see what I'm working with. So anyways, I'm gonna do that right now. Hey guys, here's outfit number one. This is actually a two piece set from Shein. And I actually could see this as a cute like workout set, 
but I love how this top is like this. So I'm like, it's a cute set for sure, but like maybe I can mix and match this to give me something a little more. Mm. But something about this top, because it comes up so high, it's got such a classy look to me. So what do y'all think? I think this is so cute, but let's try on another idea. Okay, you guys, this is another top I got from Shein. It is like a button up off the shoulder. And I thought this is such a cute outfit if I wanted to wear to the office with some black dress pants or blazer or something. But also I thought you could dress this up like with this skirt. If you want to go on a date night, especially with Valentine's Day coming up so soon. I feel like you can kind of mix and match this. So this is a definitely an outfit idea. I don't think it's for the office for me, but maybe if I throw on some pants with it, it may tone it down a little bit and give me the look I'm going for. We're gonna see. This is a zip up, like it used to have fur on it, but the fur was removable. Top, this sheen skirt with this top, and I think it actually looks really, really good. Kinda looks on me. I think with like the right shoes and accessories, it's dressed up, but also dressed down enough to where I feel covered, I don't feel so insecure. And so I'm like, oh yeah, I think this is just the cutest outfit. What do you guys think? I think this may be the outfit of the day. And I feel like it's slimming. Like, I feel slim. I feel like that running and discipline is worth paying off. It makes me feel snatched. It makes me feel cute. So, this is the outfit of the day. Now I need to go get some shoes on and get on with my day. This is so cute. It is 8.30 right now, and most days when I'm not recording, I am already on my way to the office, okay? So that is one of my big things for the new year, to be more disciplined and get to my office earlier. And I noticed getting there between eight and nine has really just made my days so much better. If you're somebody who does not technically work for yourself, even if it's just getting to work on time, getting to work looking and feeling like your best self, right? Whatever that little discipline thing you can change. And I will say, waking up at 6 a.m., which I'm gonna do a whole nother video all about the benefits of waking up at 6 a.m., but y'all, it for almost a month, it has literally blessed my life so much, okay? I gotta get on to work because I'm already technically a little behind today because I've been recording. Also, keep me in your prayers, y'all, because I am going to be getting me a new vehicle this year. I'm still gonna keep this vehicle. I love my little Chevy Cruze, but I'm also going to upgrade me a vehicle this year, 2024, okay? Okay, so anyways, let me get on to work. Officially at the office, and one thing I absolutely love about waking up earlier is getting to my office earlier, getting things done. I will say the first hour or so I'm here, it's so quiet outside. It's so quiet around me. I actually know that I could still do a 6 a.m. on the weekend, but I've just seen if I do 6 a.m. Monday through Friday, wake up, it's actually benefiting my work day. I notice it. This is the outfit of the day, okay? Top is from Walmart, skirt is Shein, boots are Shein, bag is Aldo. And I have these big chunky silver earrings on. Don't remember where I got them from. And so yeah, this is the outfit of the day. Also, this is one thing I love about getting up in the morning and working out and being more disciplined. So far when I'm recording this, I have ran about 36 miles for the month of January. That means for the month of January, if I finish out strong, I'm gonna run over 40 miles this month. 40 miles, thank you, Jesus. I, I just am so grateful for that. Even if I walked 10 of those miles, like, Lord, this thank you for allowing me to have the, the strength and the courage and you giving me, you know, just the passion to keep going. So girl, if you are struggling with discipline, I wanna tell you to not try to take on the whole mountain. Like if you're struggling with working out, if you're struggling with getting up and taking care of business, if you're struggling with um, eating better, don't try to take on the entire mountain. Take on the step in front of you. Just try to take on one area that you can get more disciplined in this season in your life. This is a new year. And so I'm just, a, I want you to be inspired for this new year. I want you to have hope, but I also want you to take action on your dreams. When you get really comfortable, you let a lot of things just slide by versus when you're on it. And so that's what I know notice and it's like now I'm back on my grind I'm back focused so I want to encourage you today you're a girl wanting to get disciplined don't take on the entire mountain of everything you need to get and fix your life just fix one area if you can that's waking up at a different time if that's eating a different food just try to tackle one at a time and as you start to build habits then that's where you get into habit stacking so then you start adding additional habits to those and that's how you get better and better thank you guys keep me in your prayers as I go on this journey my fearless Friday challenge to you to do one thing today 
that scares you. If it's even one thing that you've been putting off, if it's making the phone call, if it's just checking your bank account, I want to encourage you so much, do one thing that scares you today. Be fearless. Oh,